And welcome back. He admits it might not have been the best idea, but to save the life of his best friend, he did it anyway. When Charles, his black lab, fell through the ice on Lake Mason, Justin Newmeyer simply reacted. Because of that and some good fortune, both Charles and Justin got off that lake. As Dave Delosier tells us, for Justin, a part of his past instinctively kicked in, giving his dog a future. Come on, boys. Oh, there's my world. And every day with cattle to tend to, it is Justin, Charles, and Wally. This time of year, ice is a problem. Some days, a very big problem. You know, it's just me and them, so I'd be devastated without them. With the run of the farm yesterday, Charles went down the hill to Lake Mason with a neighbor's dog. A half hour later, only one dog came back, and it wasn't Charles. He was soaking wet, and I knew right away, you know, where they all were at. And... Out on the lake, about 150 yards away, Charles had fallen through the ice. So I came running down there, and he was all struggling to hang on in the ice, and he was having a rough time. And I didn't think he had much longer. He's probably spent a half hour, 45 minutes out there. And To understand what Justin did next, you need to know what he did in 2004. With the 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines, he saw some of the toughest fighting in Iraq, the battle for Ramadi. I think maybe that was my Marine Corps mentality. Just get it done. And getting it done meant going out on ice a half inch thick to save Charles. Yeah, it's probably not the smartest thing to do in the world, but, you know, there's things you care about and even things that have a heart and a policy. You care enough, you want to go get them and, and you treat them right and, you know, let them live a good life. Justin still remembers hearing the ice cracking beneath him as he carried Charles off the lake. Yeah, you want back up. He says he never thought about himself when going out there, just his friend and what he learned in Iraq. When the deed's done, you then you realize, oh boy, you know, I really, I really could have lost them, you know. And so you get a little different appreciation, I think, for things. In Briggsville, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. When Justin got Charles off the lake, the dog's body temperature had dropped to around 80 degrees. Their veterinarian says the dog is very lucky to have survived. And while Justin was able to rescue Charles, it is a reminder to all of us this time of the year that ice out there, if there's any left, that mm -hmm. is, it is not safe.